Good morning, YouTube. Today we're going to talk about regenerative farming, and we're going to start spreading this compost on the fields. Our weapons of choice today, the Massey 250, the Oliver 471, and the JD 5093 for loading. In years past, I've always been the chemical guy you spread chemicals all over the field so the grass grows but here in the last uh, year or two I've been trying to get away from that and more into the regenerative where I'm using resources that come from the farm oat hay and manure and I get a lot of wood chips delivered from companies and using that to make compost to put on the fields so you can see the green strips I did that um, this fall. I went ahead and spread stuff on the fields, compost on the fields, and those strips where I went through have stayed green all year. Now what have you guys done? Your water's not supposed to be at that angle. Part of that regenerative farming plan is the chickens. They follow the cows around and spread out all the manure spreads the nutrients out and need to fly larger to keep the flies down oh yeah and i get eggs from it so i noticed the problem if you look this is supposed to come down and catch these teeth and move the track inside here along gonna have to fix that before we get started all right, as you can see, it's working now because what was left in there got dumped out. It was just seized up from sitting, so no big deal. Fixed, we're ready to go. I'll give you a quick rundown how this works. Obviously, your PTO shaft comes in. comes out here. You got a slip clutch here in case something seizes up. You got a rod that runs all the way back here to this gearbox, which spins all these, and it throws the manure out. And then you got a track that runs down in here and it moves slowly down and pushes it all out to the end. It moves that track is the piece we just fixed. You can see now it's making contact with the teeth. Another thing I was doing was pulling the chickens through the field. The meat birds, you tell me if you can tell where I pulled them through at. Pretty good stuff. It's gonna be great on the fields. So, like I said before, we used to put chemicals in lime and everything. And not that those things don't have their places, but all this was hay field. All this on this side where there's no broom sage was pasture. There's a big difference between that and that. Load number two. I've told you guys you're not supposed to be out in the yard. And don't go pooping in my barn. Three. Look at the pollen coming off those 
this is definitely the worst spot in the field for the broom sage. So we're going to compare this year to next year and see how much of a difference this uh, compost put on it makes. I spread, I don't know, about 20 loads. Uh, I did about that many in the fall on that one field and I got uh, maybe 20 more to go. I need to go across the road to the neighbors. I, I failed his fields too. So uh, I think that the biggest thing is just get started in the regenerative farming. I wish I would have earlier. Um, you know, we put eight or ten thousand dollars worth of fertilizer down on the hay fields, and now that same amount is going to cost you thirty thousand um, dollars. The price of fertilizer has forced me into this, which I'm happy it did. I, I wish that I would have been doing this long ago. Of course, I used to work a sixty-hour work week at a regular job before I decided to jump ship and just farm full time. So it was a little bit harder to do all this then. So I got a lot of experiments going on. There's some uh, fields that don't have any of the compost. There's some that have a light compost and there's some that have a heavy compost. Um, there's also where I'm dragging the chickens through, um, where I've got the trailer set up for the egg mobile and seeing how that spot does where the chickens were where I was feeding hay. So I have a lot of experiments going on right now. Um, unfortunately, it's going to take a little time to see how it all works out, but that's the way it works. I'm John with Ryan Family Farm. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. We're almost 200 subscribers, and I appreciate every one of you. I'll see you next time.